Hey everyone, welcome to another Anime Kingdom discussion and review. This one is on episode 15 of Heavy Object, and guess what? We are back in Alaska! Yep, uh, pretty much back in Alaska. The intelligence union, because of that water strider, they came to get stuff from there too. They put a satellite dish or some sort, something like that, that the legitimate kingdom don't want. So that's why we're there back in Alaska to stop them, and it's gonna be a big fight. So, first off, the beginning part was pretty dang funny, the porn mag scene. Totally reminded me of Shimoneta. Um, if you haven't watched that anime, it's pretty dang funny, you should give it a try. Um, but yeah, it reminded me of that, and I was just laughing right there, like, what the hell, man. Um, after that, we get an awesome, yeah, pool table fan service scene. Who's the girl? Of course, it's Frolatia. They love their Frolatia fan service scenes, and... Who am I to disagree? I love them too. Like, dang, that that booty shot, that the opie shot, all that stuff is like, why am I making that face? But he, I was like, dang, you know. And then come on, you also gotta love that hilarious scene where she just kicks Haley onto the ground, kicks his butt, and then after, you know, she made up that thing about if you scratch it, then you know, kicking the butt, Quinthar. Did you kick that butt? That's all I wanted to know, man. I was thinking, like, to the end, at the end, I was like, man, did he kick that booty? <laughs> but, yeah. Um, after that, we get into the the main thing. The action in this was actually pretty dang good. I enjoyed seeing the G-cupped girl, I forget what her name is, versus Belinda. And, like, the, the object scene, the action scene was pretty dang cool. Seeing them fight and seeing, it was also interesting to learn... Um, like what's going on in the battle from Havia and Quintar's point of view them talking about stuff and like the battle ended up being a draw and them separating of course what happens you know Quintar and Havia can't have a easy mission they actually have to go and stop her um, the G cup girl from repairing because they're gonna repair before Melinda so guess what Quintar comes up with another crazy idea. He starts climbing the object with like those metal things, like rock climbing on a big ass metal object thing. Yeah, you're crazy, dude. And of course, at, it seems like he like, oh, what happened to him when all of a sudden <laughs> shot in all directions? He's fine. He goes in. Guess what we find? G cups was a lie. The cake is a lie. She, it. It's a lolly, pretty much. That's what it was. Like, whoa, okay, woo. What, I, what happened? <laughs> but yeah, that was that was the ending. That was pretty interesting. I did not expect that at all. To be honest, I didn't expect that at all. But yeah, overall, it was a good intro into this next new arc. Um, awesome fan service. Funny stuff going on throughout the episode pretty dang good action and then at the end that cliffhanger with us finding out that she's not G cup she's only like a cup or something but yeah it was that was pretty that was a pretty interesting that was a pretty good episode it's been a while since I've really enjoyed an episode of this and I thought it had all the good fundamentals of what I loved about the episode you know this season this series at the beginning the awesome fan service pretty dang good action actually and then of course the um just funny comedic things going on and then a good cliffhanger to really get me going but yeah i, I honestly can't wait to see the next episode so yeah that's all i gotta say guys really good episode but yeah if you guys have any questions feel free to comment below if there's anything i missed you want to talk about comment below as well and yeah until next time guys see ya